My wife wasn't there to put her down. Where are the kids? Come on down front. I encourage you, I would love to have you down front. So, all of you guys here are welcome to come on down front. You two, Lynn, and all of you, come on down front. There's, there's coloring books down there as well. There's, there's crayons, but come on down and join me down there. No, we've already talked about this at the last service. You are not allowed to color. Because they're brand new books. No, no, no. I don't want you eating the brands either. But yeah, what, so good morning. And uh, Lydia Group actually refilled the bags. Uh, we have brand new coloring books. Nobody has colored on them yet. So I know I at least have three bags up here that no one has touched yet. Unless John snuck and got to them in between services. Did you? Now find out. So again, yeah, kids, you're welcome to come down or, or right after uh, the, the children's sermon, you're welcome to stay up here. I encourage you to be up here. The Lord be with you. The Lord be with you. The Lord be with you. If the Lord has done anything good in your life this week, let's give a round of applause. Alive, we're vertical. Well, it's not like vertical right now, but it is good to be here. I need to clear up a misconception. I heard that we are doing exercises during the DVD program for the Daniel plan. I wasn't planning on it. So we're not. So if you think that we're doing exercises in those class, we're not. The small group DVDs are meant to sit down and watch a DVD and then have a discussion afterwards. Still encourage you to have the book as well and read through that, but the small group participation that we have on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so pick your group, uh, is meant to just sit in, watch it, and have a discussion. So in case you thought there was exercise, there's not. But there is an opportunity for exercise on Sunday, starting on the 26th at 1 o'clock, we're going to have Zumba here at 1 o'clock. You and I, right? We're going to Zumba together, right? Probably not. Mary? Come on, I'll be up front making a lot of Well, then we can do a, a chair Zumba. But, you know, we'll, the, the pace of the Zumba will be at your pace. So don't think just because you've never done it, I haven't, that it's going to be a fast pace. You, you make it the pace that you want me, okay? But there will be an opportunity for Zumba then. Oh, and I wasn't supposed to do all these announcements again. But I was going to stop playing the music and I just got into doing an announcements. So just remember that when we skip over announcements, I already did them. We have two new people helping us out with the, the uh, projector today. And so please have lots of grace and mercy for them as well. Because who knows how it's going to go, right? I think it's going to go well. The books are still available, and so I would encourage each of you to pick up a book for six hours. And don't forget to keep inviting people because we're going to have that opportunity to have the lunch and the suppers and stuff together. And we're also inviting you over for a new time lunch. So if you're able to make it for a new time lunch, they'll be here for that as well. Go ahead and advance the slide. Let's get going forward on that and do what we're supposed to do instead of listening to me.
power to do them. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, Lord. Amen. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you all. Please share the peace with one another now. understood this, 
For if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But, as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the human heart conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For what human being knows what is truly human, except the human spirit that is within? So also no one comprehends what is truly God's, except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. And we speak of these things in words not taught by human wisdom, but by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual. Those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of God's Spirit, for they are foolishness to them, and they are unable to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. Those who are spiritual discern all things, and they are themselves subject to no one else's scrutiny. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Here is the reading. Please rise to your hand.
there's all sorts of people that are getting invited nowadays. I, I just, every time I turn around, I see a new face. It's really cool. We've got new members that came in uh, last week, and we have more new members that are going to be coming in on the 12th. And we have more new members that are just watching today that said they want to be a member, and they're going to be coming in later. So people, you guys are doing something. You're letting your light shine, and that is awesome. That is awesome. But we also get to flavor that when they're here. Flavor that when, they're, when we're out talking to people. God gives us everything, doesn't he? Even the candy bar you eat. Yep, even that candy bar, the crayons and the markers, the air that we breathe, the water that we drink, all comes from God. Even our businesses that we do, if we're retired, than what we did, the employees that we have, everything comes from God. Now you heard what God said, though, through Jesus, is that if the salt loses its saltiness, it can only be thrown out and trampled underfoot. The salt loses its saltiness, it can only be thrown out and trampled underfoot. That means if our salt, who we are, is not being used, it's not salty anymore. We need to go out and be salty. Yeah, now, we can flavor a little too much, and some people can flavor in a way that may seem rather salty. But we give it a little bit of flavor to help them want to be part of this community so that we can be with them and so they can have an interest and learn just a little bit more, just a little bit more of what Jesus can do for them and what Jesus already does for them that they may not even realize. We are called to be the salt. We are called to be the light. So if that God gives us everything, if God gives you this business, and so you're working this business, but you neglect your employees. How am I losing the saltiness of your salt? If you're doing this business and you just don't want to be part of it, you just want to make money, that's all it's about. It's not about being with people. Then you're kind of losing your saltiness. And that business may close down. People matter. People are work. God thinks so. God thinks people are very important. So much so, so much so, that God came down and took on flesh became Jesus Christ. So much so, that God allowed himself to be hung upon a cross so he could die. So much so, that God raised the Son so that we can all be seen sinless in God's eyes, so that we can all partake in eternal life forever. Forever. Not this short time that we have here, but forever. But part of that is being the light upon the hill. Part of that is being the salt in other people's lives. We do that now so that we can join with all these people. And we don't do it because we have to do it. We don't do it because we have to do it. Because if we have to do it in order to be saved, then we messed up already. But we do it out of a loving response for the loving, giving response that God has done for Jesus Christ. And when you take that into your being, what God has done for us through His Son, how can you not feel by your own compulsion but to respond? So I ask you today, how are you going to be the song? How are we going to be the salt? How are you going to be the salt? How are we going to be the salt together? How are we going to be the light? You and me. How are you going to be a light in this world? How are each of you going to be a light in this world? And how are we going to light up this world and this community? We've got opportunity to think about it. We've got things that we are doing, things that we can do, and how are we going to walk out of here letting our lights shine so everybody goes, what the heck is going on over at First Lutheran? And how do we get part of it? We've got cards out there to invite people that says, all are welcome, you're invited. Remember what I said on the back of them? Date time, how are you going to? Hey, come on. We've got cards out there for the Daniel plan that says, 
You're invited. Invite. Be a little soft. Show your heart. And you'll be amazed what God will do. Because I'm already amazed what God has to do. And I want to be amazed even more. Amen.
be better in life. It's completely changed the way that I think of my life. It's a program that is something that you need to have for the rest of your life. It's just such a complete life change. Willpower is not the least. It's God. It's really about being healthy, not necessarily about losing weight or looking a certain way. It's a whole essence of the family plan. It's about better together. It's about living in communities, about doing it as a family unit. Maybe you realize I'm more of myself. What I do with my life is actually a steward. As a steward, what God gives me. or satisfaction anymore. I use it as fuel. We realize that um, that's one of the biggest ways that we can glorify God is, is how we treat our bodies. But if it's really about keeping everything that's good for you, there really are a lot of choices out there, and it is a matter of learning to learn things and learning to learn things that are better for us and the benefit that comes from that. It's not only formed a discipline of the heart, it's really helps you form that discipline physically. When you experience this, uh, you're just open for more. You're like, okay, God, what is Please rise if you're able.
and we ask that you be with all of our people in the military. We ask that you be with them and, and watch over them, watch over all the people in all the militaries. Bring them home safe so that their families can again see them. Lord, in your mercy. God of compassion and healing, you, you, through your spirit, can bring so much healing. And we have people upon our hearts and upon our minds that we care for. Some are sick in body, some are sick in mind, and some are sick in spirit. We ask that you reach out to them. In fact, help us to reach out with you and affect them. Help us with the right words to speak. Drive your Holy Spirit in and through your people so that they know that you are there and active. Not only be with those that need the care, but be with the doctors and nurses if there's some. Be with the families and all the caregivers. Give them comfort, give them guidance, and give them joy. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Lord, I know that we lift up some people about that we care about, but now we're going to lift them up out loud so that all of our neighbors can hear, so that they can join in with our prayer. So now we lift up all those people that we care about, whatever they are, we lift them up now out loud or in silence in our hearts. Guapo, Savita. All those that have been invited to be here, all those that are visiting, and all those that will participate in the Daniel plan. We lift up our brothers and sisters from St. Paul United Methodist Church as they prepare to join us and we prepare to join them. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. In your gracious hands, O oh Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our day our daily bread, Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We never did get those offerings for did we? We did an offering for So thank you, Lord, for forgiving us. Uh, sometimes we don't do the things as we ought, and we don't keep bringing them forward. Don't stop now. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. But Lord, Lord, you understand that, that we are humans and we make mistakes. And I know that. that you're okay with that. So thank you, Lord, for those gifts. Thank you, Lord, for these people. And I know I did a benediction, and you're up to something. No, that's Okay. Let's begin. Shine, Jesus, shine. No, they do that. They do that with the... Okay, then we'll do this first. They do that Stay with right the... Stay right there. Yeah. Okay. Everybody knows that today is Super Bowl Sunday, right? Well, we're from Team First Lutheran. And we made some subs this morning. We've had the kids up since here since 7 o'clock this morning. And everybody's a winner because we're on God's team. And it's been said that we should be as excited about church as we are about the Super Bowl. So, yay! Please do. You got a few more. There's a couple, couple sandwiches left. So.